Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're going to be talking about gaming. In particular, we're going to talk about Xfinity Wi-Fi and gaming. So there is a way to boost your Wi-Fi to better your gaming, your online gaming, your streaming, whatever you're doing in the gaming world. Um, this is going to help you potentially, I'm not going to say it's going to guarantee help you, but it's going to, it's going to be one step forward and I'm going to make more videos coming up on how to better your online gaming. So I've had people ask me questions. How do I better my gaming? And this is how, you, this is how I think you can do it. This might be step one and it might be a possible fix. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so you're going to open up your XFi app. If you don't have it, I'll put a link down below so you can download it. Um, this is the app that everyone should have if you have an Xfinity router. So we'll go ahead and fire this thing up. And then the first thing you're going to click on is network. You can either click on your Wi-Fi name up at the top middle, or you can click on the bottom where it says network. And then you're going to click on gateway, which is under network devices. And then once you click on gateway, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom through all of your devices, how many you have, click on advanced settings. Okay. Now you're going to see port forwarding. So this is what's going to help you boost your gaming. Potentially I've used this in the past when I was doing on live, which was a streaming gaming service that was created a long time ago. Um, and I noticed a big difference. So I've done this before and it works, but I'm not going to give a hundred percent guarantee on this. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, there's no risk to your Wi-Fi. There's no risk to your device. So it's, it's very simple. So at the very top, you just click on port forwarding. Okay. So now you're going to get the ability to add port forwarding port forward. And then at the top, you're going to see select one, click on that. And that's going to allow you to pick out your device. So you can only do one device at a time as far as I know right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Lucas Alienware. This is my Alienware PC. And then at the very bottom, you can click on next. Um, there is a manual setup, which I don't know exactly what that is. So I'm not going to do that in this video. But right now I'm adding it to my Alienware PC. Boom. There you go. It has been added. It's very, very simple. Um, and this should boost your streaming gaming service um, or whatever you're doing that's gaming related. Um, I don't know all the ins and outs of the benefits of this. I just know that it worked in the past and it may work for you. So I'm going to also show you how to remove this. It's a very simple process of removing it. Okay, so this is how you remove port forwarding. So there's a little trash can underneath um, your device name. So it'll say port number and then there's a trash can. Click on that and then click on <laughs> click on delete this port forward. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so there you go. Are you sure? Yes, delete. And now this is going to bring you back to where you started. So everything is good to go. So if you have a problem with this at all, do that, remove it, and move on to the next fix, which I am going to make more fixes on this subject um, very soon because it seems like something that people really need. All right, there you go. That's the Xfinity Wi-Fi adjustment to better your gaming. If you like this video, definitely smash that like button. And if you want to support me and my family, hit that subscribe button. That is the best part of my day when I see a new subscriber. I just get charged and I'm thankful for every single one of you guys who have hit that subscribe button. It's red, it's rectangle-ish, um, and it definitely likes to be smashed. So get your finger out or your, your, your mouse cursor and go down there to that red button, click on it. But once again, I thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.